my husband, before he passed away, he started saving to do repairs on the house. And uh, unfortunately, he got sick and he couldn't do any repairs. When you don't do repairs on houses, then they start breaking down, kind of like your body. If you don't keep up with your body, then it starts breaking down, and that's what happened with the house. We were kind of back and forth if we were going to be in Waco or not. So after being in Waco for eight years, I was like, okay, I guess this is going to be my new home. And I'm like, okay, it's time for me to build a home for me and my children. I didn't know anything about how to get involved in my, my kids' education. That's how I started with that little curiosity of maybe I can do something about to advocate for my kids. When it rained, it rained on our heads. In, in the wintertime, the winters were so bad, we have to take sheets and blankets and put them down under the window sill to keep the cold air from uh, coming in. We heard about grassroots through our church, and we had somebody to come in and speak about grassroots, about their help and filling out applications. And I went up there and I filled out the application, and, and voila. God says it's time. At first, I searched other opportunities, but I wasn't really satisfied. And then that's when I found about grassroots. I was like, okay, let me go to this place because it seems so great. They helped me fill out the application and go through the classes to be able to learn what being a homeowner is. I remember hearing about grassroots back when Sophia was attending first grade. I was told that there was a group, the core group for Alta Vista being formed, and they thought that I was a good candidate. The thing that interested me at the beginning for grassroots group was they offer a lot of things for, like towards parents. They were just there for the community, and I really liked that. Originally, you know, the list was um, the home could be ready in six months to a year. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that'll be perfect, you know? Six months came and the pandemic came and the snow came and it was just like, oh my gosh, okay. Am I really going to have a home? And the group that worked on my roof, they were young kids and they worked like seasoned veterans. They were awesome, they knew what they were doing. When they got through, they left my key on the table on top of a Bible. Grassroots has empowered me as a leader, showing me and teaching me all the aspects about being a leader in school. I have someone backing me up, giving me a lot of input. It's a lot of responsibility that I was able to learn all the aspects from the leadership groups. It's just great to know that I'm learning and I'm teaching my kids all those lessons. Daryl, he, he was really encouraging, especially when it was times that I was like, okay, is my house not gonna be getting built? And then eventually, August, to be exact, I came and people was moving the little uh, yellow trucks doing the grass, the dirt, or whatever. I was like, oh my gosh, something's finally happening here. The day that I went to sign, oh my gosh, that was just so much joy. Like, I felt that I was able to really just show my boys, like, okay, your mom did it. You know, I accomplished this. Like, I really accomplished this for us. Grassroot is a helping hand. Yeah. We don't have a helping hand. We don't know what you're gonna do how you're going to keep the rain from falling on your head, how you're going to keep the cold air from coming to your window. That's what grassroots is. It's a happy hand. They gave me such a peace of mind. And so when you have a peace of mind as your mother in an organization, that means I can go to work and concentrate on that because I know I got a member of my family taking care of my family. I just love going to the school and Everybody is able to say, hey, Ms. Frias, hi, hi. Oh, you're coming for Theo. Oh, Sophia is at the girls club and they all know me. And that makes me feel important. You know, that makes me feel like I'm recognized. Like they really know that I'm doing something for my kids. I would like to say thank you to Grassroots for 
making my dreams come true. Not just mine, but my children. What I'm doing for them is not what I have. Like, nobody in my family owns a home. So I am the first homeowner in the family. I feel blessed, accomplished, just thankful. Really thankful. I'll never be able to repay them. All I can do is say thank you. I appreciate you and I love you and we are family. Grassroots serves Waco through building, remodeling, and repairing homes. But that's not all we do. Our mission is to cultivate healthy neighborhoods. Healthy children. Y comunidades saludables. Through leadership development training classes. Financial literacy and homebuyer education. And preparation counseling for home ownership. Grassroots ensures that families, children, neighbors, and communities are set up for a brighter future. By providing family engagement and support at local schools. By providing leadership training with neighborhood leaders. By supporting community-driven projects. Construyemos nuevas casas para familias de ingresos bajos o medianos. Because more important than building affordable and attractive homes is building intentional and authentic relationships with our neighbors. Now join us as we grow and work to build a brighter future for Waco.